Serena, many congratulations. If you look back at last year, the way you left the tournament then, uh, what is the biggest change you made to you know, be the champion who's sitting here with us you know, today? Oh, wow. Um, I honestly, just was more relaxed this time going in. I played so well leading up to the French Open last year, and same thing happened again this year, but I didn't put any pressure on myself. And I think losing in the first round um, definitely helped me realize I have no points to defend, I have nothing to lose. I can just kind of relax and just do what I want to do here. Serena, boom, 190, boom, 195, boom, 198. It is more a matter of uh, technique, uh, mental toughness, precision, since you are 13 centimeters shorter than Maria Sharapova. How do you explain it? I don't know. I'm a lot smaller than Maria, so I don't know how I'm able to serve so big. I just... I think growing up with Venus, you know, and <laughs> she's serving so big, I was like, I want to serve big too. So I think that definitely really helped me a lot. And again, I'm not the tallest girl on tour, but I definitely think I use my height in a, in a very effective way. And uh, I use it to the fullest of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Serena Sports is all about winning and losing. Can you uh, take a moment and just talk about the difference in your feeling, the emotions of that tough, tough loss last year, kind of devastating, and, and just the joy that you're feeling now? It's definitely, you know, about winning and losing, and, you know, I'm still a little upset about that loss last year. <laughs> but um, it's all about, for me, how you recover. I think I've always said a champion isn't about how much they win, but it's about how they recover from their downs, whether it's an injury or whether it's a loss. And I think that really creates uh, a real a, a real champion is how they can recover from those moments. Serena, here. As you have won that much as, and you have so many interests beside of tennis, have you ever thought about retiring at your peak, like Greta Garbo? Oh, what an analogy. Me and Greta Garbo, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I definitely, I, I want to go out on my peak. That's my goal. Um, but have I peaked yet? <laughs> See, now, congratulations. Uh, you won here 11 years ago. Back then, did you think it will took 11 years to win here again? Definitely not. I thought, you know, I would win again, I guess. I don't know if I even really thought about it, but there was definitely a few years I felt like I could have won, and I um, I didn't. And it was, I think, mostly on my racket and my fault that I didn't win. But uh, I think for the most part, I, I'm still here and just still fighting and doing the best that I can to for each of my matches. And very small question about your orange bubble on, on your socks. What... What do you oh. mean? <laughs> no, it's it's just it's it doesn't mean anything. I just the um, Nike makes a a special sock for me with a little. Um, it's kind of retro. I think it's like seventies. I want to say, and I think it's really cute. Um, Serena, congratulations! Uh, at Love to forty fifteen for for Maria, uh, you came back there. It was probably one of the crucial moments in this match. And then the rest of the match, we saw you with a, a huge uh, winner spirit at critical points, at outs, at ends. Uh, did you really uh, like put the, really the best of you uh, so that for a tournament you didn't win since 2002? Uh, your winning appetite, was it quite high, even higher than usual? Um. I think my winning appetite was really high, and I think due to that, I may have not played as well as I played in other matches in this final as I did before. So I think I put maybe a little a little pressure on myself, and um, because of that, I uh, maybe made a lot of mistakes that I didn't make in other rounds. But um, also, with that being said, it, it really got me through a lot of tough points that I knew I needed to win. Thank you. 
Why do you think that you are playing so well at, at this age? Uh, I don't, I'm really relaxed. I really enjoy every moment that I'm out there. I, I always said that I felt like I've never played my best tennis. And I've, I've said that for years that I feel like I can always do better and play better. And I've always wanted to reach that level. So I don't know, maybe I'm just trying to get there. What does it say about the game that uh, you're winning at age 31 and that the ages seem to be going up? I think, um, you know, I, I really believe age is a number at this point because I've never felt so fit. I, I feel great. I look great. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I don't f like I if I see someone that's 31, I'm like, they're old. But then I'm like, I'm 31, but I don't feel it at all. So I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's something in the water in America. I don't know. Serena, um, how do you rate? Maria's performance today in comparison to some of the other players you've played recently and beat up on? <laughs> I think Maria played, again, every, you know, I think she played probably the best she's played me, you know, and I think, um, I think she really wanted it. I, I think she came out with a real plan and um, she was really determined to, to do really well. And I think, that was a key for her, and the and the match was just to play well, and I think she did. I think she played excellent. Um, can you talk about your what the French fans and and being in Paris and having this having a French coach and the the Frenchness of <laughs> um, your life in the last year or so. Um, well, you been, yeah, it's been great. I, 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 I'm here a lot, not too much, because I travel so much on the tour, so I don't really, it's not one place that me or any other real tennis player can, can be. But um, it's it's different when I come here and I, and I stay at my place and I, I'm just living a normal life and then I'm training and then I go to sleep. So I feel like... Um, I have a lot more ties to this city and to this country because of it, because I'm, I'm a lot more familiar with the area and with things like that. So um, it's been a great relationship I've had in the past. I've always had a wonderful relationship here in, in Paris. And, and incidentally, the first tournament I ever won was here. And, you know, I just, I've always just loved this city. So I think it's just natural that I feel so good here. Do you feel like yourself in a, I mean, I don't, do you feel, feel good how? Like, do you feel more yourself here than other cities maybe? I, I feel great. I feel, yeah, I guess you can say I really do feel like myself. I feel, um, I feel really relaxed here and I feel like I can just live a normal, a normal life here. Uh, Serena, here. Uh, you're, uh, or number one, you have, 16 Grand Slam champions, and you're an amazing woman in public eye. But if, you, uh, if we go back 11 years ago, in your own mind, what were you like at that time? Uh, I was just a determined individual. I, I loved, you know, being on center court. You know, I loved playing. I loved... I couldn't believe I won the French Open 11 years ago. It was a real shock for me. Um, and I just you know, just was young and, and just loving every moment and every championship that I got to win. Thank you. So, you know, 10 years ago, you lost to uh, to Hene here, and I know, you know, that, you know, the uh, the crowd didn't seem to support you. Your parents weren't that, weren't that happy, uh, you know, with your reception. Is it an extra victory that you stole their hearts now, that you feel almost like a kind of kind of Parisian now? Not, uh... I guess you can say it's an extra victory, but uh, in the end of the day, when I lost my match to Justine, I... The crowd wasn't out there playing for me. I think at the end of the day, you have to be mentally tough enough to get through those moments and, and to win those matches, when, whether someone's rooting for you or not. Did it also help you, you know, working, you know, here in Paris, you know, at the uh, Murtaku uh, Academy? Did it change also a lot, you know, if you compare your state of last year, for example? Again, I think I was in great form last year. It just didn't, it didn't come together in the first round here. Um, but... Definitely, I think, you know, everything, with all, I guess it all helps working with Murat de Glue and he, him being French and all that other jazz. <laughs> 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 uh, 
uh, Serena, congratulations. Uh, you, you finished the match with three aces. Is it that perfection, or you can finish it with four? Uh, I mean, you yeah. serve as, as as well as a man, or uh, what, what? what is this? It's f female tennis, but good tennis. Well, I, honestly, at that point, I was just so nervous. I thought, I just, I'm not going to be able to hit ground strokes. So, <laughs> no joke. I really thought, and as you see, the one ground stroke I did hit went like 100 feet out. And I thought to myself, look, Serena, you just got hit aces, or you know, <laughs> you're gonna, that's your only choice. And so I just had to hit aces, and that's just what I did. Because I, I wouldn't have been able to hit a forehand or a backhand or any shot for that matter. Serena, uh, tomorrow is men's final. Who would you like to win, and who would you rather to do protocol with, Rafa or David? Um, I, I don't, it's, it's tough. I, I, I'm a really big Rafa Nadal fan. I always have been, and you know, he's. I think he's a legend at such a young, early age. Um, with that being said, I love David Ferrer's work ethic. I love how I always see him in the gym. I love how serious he is. I'm, I, I love that. I love to see two players like that go at it, and 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 hopefully it'll be a really, really good match. What is your favorite book or movie about Paris? About Paris? Yeah, it takes place there's in Paris. A, um, there's a book, there's a movie called, <laughs> um, you're going to have to look at look this one up. It's called Mama, There's a Man in My Bed. <laughs> have you, has anyone seen that one? No. Yeah. It's very funny, actually. It's a French movie, and it takes place in Paris. Uh, Serena, um, what is that number 16 Grand Slam titles mean to you and your place in the history of the game? It's awesome. I, I'm honestly just trying to go up and go up. And today when I won, I was really trying to win the French Open. I wasn't trying to get to number 16. And then when, um, I don't know, I think it was Fabrice Santoro told me that uh, that's 16. And I thought, wow, you know, I forgot about that. So it means a lot to me. And it, it's, it's really special. And I feel like uh, I definitely want to continue continue my journey um, if it means I stop at 16 or if it means I have more I definitely want to continue my journey to get a few more thank you, thank you. Thank you.